Hi, I'm Adrian and today I've got an unashamedly flashy country slash rock and roll lick for you. The kind of thing that will wow people when you unleash it in the middle of a guitar shop. Uh, but in, in all seriousness, it's a, it's a very cool lick. It's a very useful lick too. If you're playing a country song in the key of E, then it makes for a very good ending lick. And I guess this lick is loosely inspired by players like uh, Albert Lee, uh, James Burton, perhaps if you go back a bit further, people like Chet Atkins and uh, it's using hybrid picking, so pick and fingers in the right hand. And uh, I'm also combining fretted notes with some open strings, which creates that nice kind of cascading chimey sound. So it's a fun lick to play. Let me show you how it's done. So what are we dealing with here then? We're in the key of E and the lick will work over an E major chord or probably over an E7 chord as well. And the note choice for the lick is fairly typical country stuff. It's a blend of major and minor pentatonics. There's a bit of blues scale in there, some chromatic passing tones. But as I said, I think the interesting thing about this lick is its use of open strings and its use of hybrid picking. Now, hybrid picking just means you're using the pick in your picking hand and also one or two of the, the fingers as well to, to, uh, to pick some of these notes. So let me take you through the lick and uh, apologies in advance if I go on quite a lot about the left hand fingering and the, the right hand picking. Just think that it's particularly important in a lick such as this to have a, a sensible way of picking and fingering it. Uh, otherwise, you're never going to get it smooth. So um, let me just play you the lick slightly slowly one more time for you. We've got... Um and uh, I'm going to start with the first four notes. We're, we're up here at the ninth fret. I'm, I'm playing... I'm playing the tenth fret on the B string, pulling off to the ninth fret on the B string. Then I'm playing the 11th fret on the G string. Um, then we've got our first open string, which is um, an open high E string. And uh, I'm picking that with the, uh, I'm using the ring finger on my picking hand. So uh, I'm picking with the pick here, pull off the pick again, and then ring finger playing that open string there. Uh, you could use the middle finger of your, your picking hand to do that as well. I, I, I just tend to use my, my ring finger, I think. Um, uh, then we've got this. Um, we, we're changing position now, so our whole hand is coming down to the seventh position. Um, we've got the ninth fret on the G string. Then we've got the open B string. Then I'm playing the seventh fret on the G string and then the open top string again. So that group of four notes goes like this. You can hear that nice chiming open string effect starting to happen. Um, the right hand there, I'm using the pick, then middle finger, pick again, and ring finger. Um, I think a good sort of practicing strategy for this lick might just be to you take groups of four notes like that and work on those over and over just to get, get things flowing and, and get comfortable with it. Um, so that's, that's the first four beats, the first bar of the lick. And you might just want to think about how you get from one position to the other smoothly. So, so after you've played that first open string, you're going to be on your way down the G string to, to that ninth fret note. Let's continue the lick. We've now got this. So, I'm playing the ninth fret on the D, and then the eighth fret, pulling off to the seventh fret. Sorry. Then we've got another open string. This time it's the open G string. Uh, right hand picking on this. I'm going to pick down with the pick, then up, pull off, and then middle finger is playing the open G. Now, 
Next bit of the lick, I'm playing the seventh fret on the D string, open B string, and then I'm sliding from five to six on the D string. So I'm using the pick, middle finger, and then pick again. Now going between these two segments of the lick, this is a, a sort of interesting fingering thing. Um, Notice that um, uh, I'm switching finger here. I'm playing that seventh fret note on the D with my index finger initially. Then I'm playing the same note with my second finger and then onto my first finger for that slide. Just watch that slowly. Um, it just seems to me that that's a nice smooth way to play that part of the leg. Onto the last bit of the lick, then the last bar of the lick, we've got this. So I'm playing the seventh fret on the A, then the open D string, and then I've got seven, six on the low E, and I'm pulling off to the fifth fret. Uh, then an open A string, so it's the same note. Um, that we just fretted but we're playing it as an open string and then we've got third fret on the low E hammering on to the fourth fret and finishing off with a, an open low E string maybe strumming uh, an open e, e major chord so just that last bar of the lick is Let me just put all of that together for you nice and slowly. See how you get all of those open strings chiming nicely. You, with your left hand you might like to, to fret these notes sort of up on the tips of your fingers a little bit more so you're not muting the open strings and you're just letting them all ring out and, and, and chime. Um, So that's the lick. If you've enjoyed this lesson, do check out the other videos on my YouTube channel. Check out my website as well where there's plenty more of this kind of thing. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.